Gamers, this Strand Hunter build might be the most fun I have ever had on the subclass. It has an insanely fun gameplay loop that involves great ability uptime while focusing on spreading Unravel and Threadlings around like crazy, while also providing an aggro mechanic through decoys, which honestly feels like a better invis at times. Now before we get into the build, if you do enjoy the content, a like and sub would be greatly appreciated. We just hit 1500 subs last night. Thank you guys so much for the support so far this season. So this build's goal is to take advantage of this season's strand mods to spread damage around like crazy. The exotic weapon used in this build to take full advantage of that is actually not Quicksilver, but final warning, the strand sidearm from Lightfall, which you have may have forgot about, I know I did for a long time. Its intrinsic trait marks targets and loads multiple bullets when holding down the trigger, and hitting marked targets with a fully charged burst will unravel them. The other trait it has makes it honestly pretty good for dealing damage even in harder content. It grants tracking and extra body damage to targets on hipfire, and then increased velocity and extra critical damage on precision hits to mark targets, which, let me tell you, does a lot more damage than I was expecting. Now for the subclass, we're on Strand Hunter using Gambler's Dodge to give us our melees back, and a Shackle Grenade to deal with unstops and groups of higher health enemies. The aspects are going to be Threaded Spectre, which creates decoys when using our dodge, that will take all aggro for a pretty good period of time, these things can take some serious damage as well, but if you use it near an enemy or one gets too close, then it will explode, so be careful where and how you use it. Now the other aspect used is going to be Whirling Maelstrom, which creates a strand Beyblade that will fly around dealing damage to enemies and can even spread unravel on defeating targets. Onto the fragments, we're using Thread of Evolution to buff our Threadlings, Distance and Damage, Thread of Generation to grant grenade energy back on dealing any type of damage, Thread of Fury to grant melee energy back on dealing damage with Tangles, which works great with Maelstrom, and lastly, Thread of Warding to grant Woven Mail and Ore pickups for damage resist. The exotic armor we're using with this build is 6 Coyote to grant us an extra dodge, which really helps in keeping ability uptime a lot higher. I tried to make this build flow as well with Foe Tracer for that nice time source surge, but it felt really lacking in ability uptime and ruined the gameplay loop for me. Now the mods for the build are crucial in funning into high ability uptime, using a strand siphon on the helmet to generate orbs for unraveling rounds, heavy handed on the gloves to generate an orb on melee kills, and focusing strike to give us class ability energy back on melee hits, plus impact induction for grenade energy back on melee hits. For chest, we're taking, taking charge for an extra armor charge stack, boots, recuperation for heals from orbs, insulation to give us class ability energy, from orbs and stacks on stacks for an extra armor charge on each orb pickup. Lastly, on the class item, Reaper to create an orb on a weapon kill after dodging, Utility Kickstarter to get dodge energy back when we use it, and Powerful Attraction to pull in orbs on using our dodge. For the artifact mods, we are using Unraveling Orbs to grant our strand weapons Unraveling Rounds, and then Horde Shuttle to create Threadlings when damaging enemies affected by Unravel with our weapons. I'll leave the rest of the mods that I'm using from the artifact on screen. Change these really how you see fit depending on whatever activity you are doing. The other two weapons I'm using alongside Final Warning are either Forbearance or Undercurrent in the special slot to deal with multiple enemies nearby, and then Semiotician to have a decent damage option that can also deal with Overload Champions. This build's playstyle is really so much fun to me, from the constant unravel and threadling spam to the decoy that can take aggro and tank some serious damage and with just how well the build flows into really good ability uptime. This will definitely be my go-to Strand Hunter build for the next 5 months, and I'm going to be so sad to see it go when we lose Horde Shuttle, but hey, we got till June, so can't really complain. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the build, it's definitely one of my favorite Hunter builds I think I've really made ever. Thanks for watching, see you guys in the next one, peace!